Welcome to day 23. So review eight, review any theory of your choice. You can choose any area, obviously choose something that's weak. Especially make sure you're familiar with NAT, NAT overload, NAT pools, static NAT, how to configure and, and how to reference NAT with an access list, your inside and outside NAT interfaces also, and then your show your NAT show commands as well. So make sure you're familiar with all of that. Make sure you're memorizing the CRAM guide. You should be able to write out the entire CRAM guide from memory. Do lots and lots of practice exams because you've got a full two hours today and every day. Make sure you're focusing on VLSM so you can design, take your network and, and chop it down to meet whatever requirements are of the question. So many networks from that network address and so many hosts per network and each segment of the network may have a different requirement for number of hosts. Configuring and troubleshooting DHCP and then obviously CDP. What is it? How does it work? How do you do some show commands? How do you turn it off an interface and how do you turn it off the entire router? Do labs. You can choose any lab. Um, I recommend you do multi-technology labs so not just a lab doing access lists, but involving routing, access lists, NAT, whatever technology you want to work on. All right, so I'll just uh, show you a segment from the book here. This is what I've talked about. I've, I've written out a little exam for for you to take if you're if you're using my book, and I've done a multi-technology lab for you to go through also. Uh, this is NAT and um, access list and some routing as well. Right, so we'll see you on day 24.